hello guys welcome back to all uh, today in this video we are going to discuss about f2 molecule how the fluorine molecule will form so here if you observe here f2 means there are two fluorine atoms in between the two fluorine atoms there is a single covalent bond is there which means in the fluorine molecule in between the two fluorine atoms there is a covalent bond is there covalent bond means here sharing of electrons takes place in between the two fluorine atoms so take the fluorine atom its atomic number is 9 and its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p5 which means in the outermost shell it contains 7 electrons so to get the octet configuration or the stability it requires one electron one more electron in the same way the second fluorine atom also contains seven electrons in the valence shell it requires one electron to get the octet configuration so take another fluorine atom uh, this fluorine atom is also contains 1s2 2s2 2p5 configuration so it is also contains seven electrons and to get the octet configuration it requires one more electron and now in between these two fluorine atoms how the bond will form for example take the uh, first fluorine atom if the fluorine atom is donating one electron to the other fluorine atom is it getting octet configuration no in the same way if the second fluorine atom is it uh, donating one more electron to the first fluorine atom is it getting octet configuration no which means the transfer of electrons may not takes place it's not possible if the transfer of electrons takes place means it is nothing but ionic bond but here in this case these two fluorine atoms can form a stable molecule by sharing of electrons by sharing of electrons takes place this bond let us let me explain clearly once again this is one fluorine atom it contains seven electrons in their valence shell and take another fluorine atom this is also contains seven electrons in their valence shell now each fluorine atom is contributes one electron for bonding so here in this case uh, this fluorine atom is contributing this electron and the second fluorine atom is also contributing one more electron so by contributing two electrons by two fluorine atoms in between the two fluorine atoms there exists a bond is it clear this bond is nothing but covalent bond which means by sharing the two electrons this fluorine atom getting octet configuration by sharing this eight electrons in the same way this fluorine atom is also getting octet configuration by sharing the two electrons which means by sharing one one electron in both cases the two fluorine atoms getting octet configuration so like this the f2 molecule is formed by sharing of one electron in each case so in between the fluorine atom the two fluorine atoms there is a single covalent bond is there single bond and nothing but that is covalent bond is it okay so once again so this is fluorine atom it is contributing one electron and this is another fluorine atom it is also contributing one electron by sh sharing one electron in each case both the fluorine atoms getting octet configuration like this is it okay so this is how the fluorine molecule f2 molecule will form by the single covalent bond here once we are observing the fluorine atoms atomic number 1s2 2s2 
2 p 5 which means in the outermost shell eight el seven electrons are there and those seven electrons are present 2s2 2px2 2py2 2pz1 2px2 2py2 2pz1 which means in both the fluorine atoms only there is a vacant 2pz orbital which means in the f2 molecule only in the first f f molecule f atom which means fluorine atom uh, there is a vacant 2pz orbital in the second fluorine atom also there is a vacant 2pz orbital in between the two fluorine atoms which means this is one vacant 2pz orbital and take another 2pz orbital in between the two f orbitals only there is a formation like this so here there is a single covalent bond between the f2 f2 molecule which means the two fluorine atoms in between the two fluorine atom there exists a single bond and that single bond is sigma bond one single covalent bond and that bond is nothing but one sigma bond is formed between the two fluorine atoms like this so this is what today's class in the next video we will discuss some more topics uh, friends if you are watching my videos first time please do subscribe my channel and if you have any doubt you can ask me through the comment section and if you like my videos please like share and subscribe my channel thank you all of you